<clears throat> I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough on this idea of day books. Uh, I've known about day books since I was a kid. And both my dad and my grandfathers both had day books. My mother had a day book that she kept in her purse. And what most people think of when they see a day book is like this. It's just a paper, spiral bound paper notebook. And in it, you can put whatever you want. Okay. And typically, you know, you put to-do lists in this and it's kind of second, very crude second brain. Um, when you run out of day book pages, you can always take a, some three by five uh, cards and turn them into a day book by using a, a clip at the top. I've done this a lot. In fact, these these parts right here, they're all going to go right into into my day into my day book. So there's a day book too. Right. Um, but I have gotten fancier in my day books, and this one right here is something I bought from uh, Jet Pens. And it's uh, Lihit Labs is the uh, creator of this. And uh, this in particular has a cool name. It's called an Aqua Drop. I don't know why Japanese have interesting names for things. And what's really interesting about this is that all of this paper can be replaced. Okay? So, you know, you're, there's the empty sheets. And it's really really good quality paper okay so that's wonderful paper here is an, an example of the the refills that you can have like this and they are nice everything about this is nice uh, you can uh, here's another example uh, same type of paper although in this case I made my own paper here um, out of three by five cards, colored cards. So if you want something a little bit stouter, you can make your own. Of course, that means you have to buy the Lihet Lab um, hole maker, you know. Um, and I know some people hold these in, but I, mean, I, I hold these in kind of disdain, but I don't, I really like this. and. Um, you can do everything from thin plastic to cardstock to whatever you want. So that's very handy. There's another size of these aqua drops right here. It's, it's, um, um, they have, they call these twist notes because you can open them up up here and replace them with these, right? So if you get filled up, you can take them all out. So you've got replacements that you can get. And, of course, why do you do the day books? Well, some of it is kind of um, stuff that you want to remember, to-do lists and things like that. But it has other purposes as well. For example, you can kind of stockpile them and save them in, in a way, archive them, and then return to them and mark them up with uh, markers and the like. And oftentimes, I, when, I'm, when I'm really feeling not very creative, I'll return to my, the scene of the crime, so to speak, in this day book and find things. Here's um, a pile of, of ones that I have, that I need to go through for this size notebook. And... Here's a pile of ones that I need to go through for this size notebook. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. Sometimes I like these wide ones. You see the difference here. Sometimes I like the wide ones. Sometimes I like the other ones. So, um, what's really good about these tools is that they are, um, I, I consider them to be... Um, simple enough for me, um, simple enough to return to as you wish, uh, whenever you wish, and uh, um, plus they give you a little bit of a history of your life, and, and you can't ask for much more than that. So thanks for uh, joining me for this uh, recounting of how I use daybooks. Um, 
there are digital daybooks, and I'm going to talk about that in another um, video. Uh, I made some notes to myself here um, about this, and you know, um, paper is, is the best resolution there is. I don't care what Apple says, uh, and it is it is a joy to to use paper, and that's not even very good paper. This kind of paper is really nice. You see the quality of that. It's easy to see it. But even more important, it's easy to feel it. So thanks for dropping by. And I hope uh, you take a look at this. And I'm, I'll have a little bit more in the blog post as well. Okay, thanks a lot.